cheese. So we just went, oh, Jesus. We just went and picked up Mike's new wheels. They're 31 inch Symex centipedes with the negative 13 offset rims. So we find out if they're the right stud button, I'll check the box, the box of the box. Now these are a 31 inch and these are 33s on his car. <laughs> they're bigger than them. They're bigger. They're they're 32.8, those ones, but they're running 25 pounds of pressure at the moment. Well there you go. And these are actually, I think these Cymexes, these are seven inch rims. Yeah. And it does squeeze them a bit higher, but when you let them down, but look at that. Pretty much same size almost, yeah. <clears throat> almost same size on 25 pound. Yeah. I don't know what he's got in these, but. They look pretty pumped just because the middle's sitting out. With... But they recommend run an eight inch rim with these Cymexes. But you'll see when you um, put them on your Suzuki, if you have an eight inch rim, it hits the chassis rail at the front. Because I just get to see how it touches. What size is this wheel? 31. But what actual size is it? 31 Cymex. Oh, it might be the same size. I reckon the lugs might be too close, but we'll find out, eh? Oh, what about it's tight? There you go. Yeah, I reckon it's just the, um, the lugs. But you can just push that over a little bit anyway, it's the end of the world. Yeah, I'm sure you could. This is locked. I've let this down though. See, Mike's already got the adjusting plate to move the spare tire up. This is the 31s. I can't remember which is the spare. He did ride it. That one. S. Yep. S for shit balanced. <laughs> Let's see how that fits up here. Two up the top. Oh, shit. <laughs> Hang on, let's just... We have to let some air out of it, I think. Hang on. Now you're rolling with the Cymex, mate. Bit of weight on that. Hold it. That's all right. I'll throw it. And then I'll... Um, we'll Honestly. bolt it, bolt it. Oh, Jesus, mate. Did she nearly go? She nearly went, mate. She was, she was trying to go home. She's trying to go for a run. Oh no. Been... Lose a bit of visibility out of the back there as well. All right. Yeah, it's because you've gone up higher. Yeah, I know. Oh, but then again, I suppose mine has too. You have two. to because you'll hit the you'll hit the rear bar on the factory rear bar. Oh, you got the heaps of clearance. Yeah, you I could almost it. put it back to how it was. No, it'll sit. Oh, maybe. Oh no, because mine, if you look at mine, oh, but I've got a standard rim. It's only an inch. Out. I could probably Be put the factory one back because on. Because the further you come out with the tyre, the more it's going to try and rip your skin off. You know what I mean? I might be able to put it back. I reckon you should put it back. I reckon, let's have a look. Not that we've had experience with it, but apparently if you put a heavy tyre on the back, it actually rips the door skin off. Yeah. And because we got, he's got that um bracket on there, the tyre's going to sit further out, which is going to try and twist it more. I reckon. I reckon we could probably take it off. Let's rip that sucker oh, off. Oh, that would be good. Two up, yeah. Yeah, that's better. That's heaps better. Oh, wait a sec. No, nah, can't do it. Number plate. What do you mean? Can you not see your number plate? No, it's obstructed. Thank you. Yeah, that'll get done. So for those who didn't get that, the tire hangs to about here and blocks the number plate. So we already don't want to get in trouble and that's just asking for more trouble. <laughs> Pretty much. You're just gonna have no door. You'll you'll be driving home one day and get a breeze on your neck. You're, you're like, where's my door, mate? My gone. She's gone. What's going on, mate? All right, she's all back on. Back together. 
Mate, this should be happy moment. You should be smiling. Oh, Siamese, mate. That, that's risky here. I'll hold that's it. That's so risky, isn't it? That's going to be bouncing off. I have to let some air out of that. You probably want to get a wheel cover for it just so the sun don't make it go hard. Yeah, that's true. You get one, didn't you? For your one? Yeah, mine was just off eBay, like a cheap one, but it's actually not bad at all. Not bad quality. I was pretty happy with it. And it fit good, like it's nice and tight. I don't you probably haven't seen it in a while. Yeah, I saw it on the phone the other day. Yeah, it's nice and tight. I don't know about the number pack now as well. No, nah, that's heaps better. That's yeah. fine. Yeah. Yeah. Because you're if you're in a car, you're gonna be sitting like see at least two car lengths back. Yeah, that's fine. That's all G, mate. All good and hood. Do you want to actually tighten that, mate? Oh, I'm just doing them all up and then I'll do the rest, yeah? Jeez. Just relax, mate. You know when Simex is flying down the road? You know? That's fine. It's a good good. Yeah, what's wrong with that? It's got to sit on that. It's got to go yeah. down. Yeah, she's not too good. <laughs> Yeah, she's gonna have to take air out of it. I'll have to get some air out of it. How much does this move? Huh? Oh, it moves heaps. Yeah. Is it meant to move that much? Oh, it's, it's only got a pin at the bottom that's holding it in. Mm. But when you've got 20 litres in it, it holds it in 20 place. 20 litres of fuel. Mm, okay. It's gonna sit a bit lower. I don't even know if you could. Can you just like reef it on? Just jump on it. It's like cutting the tyre though. Why is it sitting like, it wasn't sitting like before? Yeah, it's because the oh, yeah. tyres... Right there, that's yeah. where it's supposed to sit. You're not going to take 10 mil out of it. Fuck. We we'll might just have to cut and weld this back on. Maybe. So you'll probably just find you can buy this part and yeah. we'll just cut this off and re-weld an all new hinge because there's some boogers on there. There's some... <laughs> they're not Sunday beads, mate. Look at that one. Look at them boogers. What are you boogering it up for? I don't know, mate. It's Queensland. Queensland boogs. Queensland's got boogers, mate. So when me and Michael ordered these, we actually got the last two 31-inch Symexes in Australia. So I bought the other set just because they did us a pretty good deal. We ended up buying four and getting the fifth one free. So we thought that was pretty good. And Mike's also got these 35s, which are the silver stones for the Jeep. Let's, let's see what the 35s look like. Is this one flat? I don't know. This is hard to do one-handed. So there's not much really in them. And these are actually a 35, I will turn on the side. Where are we looking? They're all muddy. Where are we? There we go, it's upside down, but you can see the 35. Oh, mate, you got them rotors on here. Rotors, mate. Oh, which one were the... Mike does have the 4 arc kit on this too. This isn't stock lifted. Oh, I had a mate balance these for us, and he's actually done the ones that were a bit more out of balance. He's put B for back of the car. And the ones with the less weights on it, he's written... That says DK, I think. That's Drift King size. <laughs> Drift King. Chrome yeah. wheel drive. Drift smart. <laughs> oh, yeah. Whoa, there it is, mate. She's nearly touching the ground already, mate. How much better does that look? Oh, mate, she's nearly touching the ground. 
That's sick. She's already touching the ground. Hey, oh, mate, start the nut by hand. Come on. I'm going slow. Jesus. Oh, there you go, by hand. Yeah, then you went cross through it, mate. Yeah, let's go slow. Look These... at the D, the D ones, mate. They actually don't look too bad. They actually look alright, don't they? So you can get these in a D shape like they are, or a triangle shape. And I thought they were mine with the D shape, but these... One's done. See, remember how I said my wheel hits the bull bar? Yeah, I know. So go turn, is this steering wheel lock off? No, I'd have to undo the thing. Just turn your key to accessory. So we're turning now to see what we hit. So we hit nothing that side, we're all good. And I'm pretty sure if I measured right with a seven inch rim, no. Nah. See, that's why you go seven inch rim, not eight. Yeah, they're eight inch rims. So if everyone wondering fitting thirty ones, make sure you go a seven inch, seven inch rim, and you won't have any scrubbing issues. But you'll see in a minute when we get the backs on, they hit this inner edge here, which I've actually got to do on mine. So we'll have to um get them on see where it hits and that's where we set our bump stop to. She's going up. Ooh. See my bump stops on mine? Mine a bit longer. Yeah, but... Because I reckon you could undo that bump stop and then put it, put the... Um, oh, do you, have a, do you have a tape measure here quickly? Yeah. I just want to measure the diameter of those springs. Because we might be able to fit 80 series ones in if this is... Oh, no, so 80 series are 100 mil. They're 90. Because 80 series one, I was like, if the diameter's big enough, it'll be almost like a dropout cone as well. Yeah, it would be. So if we put our longer shocks in, we'll just make a bracket up, bolt it to there yeah. to hold the spring in. And that'll be, be easy. Be mint. But that's all shit now. But yeah, that's that one. But I reckon you could undo that and then put one in the middle of that and just we'll, space it out. We'll find out in a minute when we. These do feel a bit lighter. They definitely feel a bit lighter. Yeah, see? You... With these wheels, you've got to have the longer control arms in the back. Otherwise. Otherwise, it touches here. And I should mention the four art arms that he has in the front are actually. Forward. How much are they? 20 mil forward. Yeah. They So they move the whole wheel forward, so you got more clearance here. Yeah. So the, I think the whole lot is two inches longer wheelbase. Okay. Or two and a half inches longer. Because I didn't mention in my video about when I was talking about my axle swap, is mine's actually like 40 mil. The whole diff is 40 mil further forward on my car. That's why, Rip if you look, morning, yeah, might. I got a big gap here but you probably never notice that and my wheel track is 40 mil wider in the front than it is in the rear just so i could clear the wheels because the problem with these cars is that front body mount is so chunky when this when this front wheel turns it hits that but what do you do cut it off and re-engineer it or, yeah i won't but, be doing that no i wasn't gonna do that either yeah no they're in just your rears are oh the fronts Oh, the back's probably all right. The front. The I don't know. The hasn't settled. The front hasn't mm. settled yet. Got to roll it out. We'll see. What size are these? 45 mil. I wonder if, they, if you'd had like a 50. Yeah, I know. Might be, might be right. But on. you'd probably only need it on the front because yeah. even though the steering wheel's turned, it's not that bad. It just depends, I suppose, if you get pulled up. You go, like, oh, well, that's, that's all right. The whole tire's covered there. They're so much bigger than the other tyres. Yeah. <laughs> oh, 
They're so much bigger. Like they're wider. They're tiny. They're wider. Yeah, but you've got an eight inch rim with these. Yeah. I think they're eight inch rim, aren't they? So, I don't know, but look how far they sit out past there. There is these almost sit flat with the rim. Mm. They sit like another inch wider. 31 inch by 10 and a half. They're wide as hell. What are they? These are 10 and a half, but yeah. No, I don't think they're as wide, totally. They're just taller. Because they used to sell a nine and a half in the yeah. Cymex, and that's what I originally wanted to keep them thinner, but yeah. they don't do it. Looks, uh, it sits Oof. in there. It sits in there. Though. It's almost touching the mud flap, though. That's getting ripped off. You might just have to be like these other. Oh, no. Because if you're driving along, the wind's going to push it. Yeah. And then the exhaust is going to melt it and then catch a car on fire. <laughs> <laughs> that's what you want. You just want everyone's burning. I got leaking diesel out of set me car on everyone's fire. Got something going on. Something's going on everywhere. So we've got all the wheels on now, all the way around, and we're gonna flex it up on these ramps, like they're the biggest ramps we got. But that'll be right. All right, go to there. Yep. Go. Yep, that's it. See, it does. This actually flex is not too bad for an independent front end. See what I mean, how close it comes? Have we got much on the bump stop? Oh yeah, we got about another inch on the bump stop. Oh yep. How much have we got on? That tire is off the ground now. It is it? it was oh, you can see. It was spinning on the ground, yeah. And then what do we got this side? See, remember how mine hits everywhere? Yeah. Oh yeah, oh no, we're just, oh, we're gonna hit there. Just, just. There's another bump stop. How, um, what do we like on the bump stop? Oh, if you had another inch extension, we'd be sweet. Remember, that's gonna compress a bit. You'd want another inch, I reckon, or so, and you'd be right, I reckon. Mid. So you need another inch on top of the factory floor, I wonder, I reckon. Which is what I was. I reckon, let's put one more ramp under there. Oh, you're spinning. That brake line, that's heaps. The airline's got heaps, breather's got heaps. You could go easy another two inches here. In the shocker. Yeah, look at that. You got fucking like. Is the spring inches. even loose? No. Nah. Yeah. You got another, I reckon you got six inches. You got six inches there, I reckon. Or you could drop it out and it wouldn't fall out. But the further you come down, you can you're only lim you're limited by that um thing in the diff. Yeah, I know. And then you got um bottom here you would have to make a plate to bolt in so the spring doesn't a retainer yeah i actually think you can buy retainers for them on i think you can anyway yeah sweet so that flexes up not bad oh the tire's still on the ground it's yeah the, the tire's still on the ground like it can go heaps higher like it didn't spin at all, but did you hear the crunching at the back? Something. something yeah, it'll something. be the tire in the guard here. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, look, <laughs> it's up there. It's up here. She doesn't like that. But we'll have to set the bump stops to that, I think. Is it hitting anything? Oh, no, look. Yeah, but it hits all the back of the actual body. Yeah, so it's back there. But up here, look, nothing. I've got a full finger gap. It'll, it's hitting back here. It's going to hit that. But you there. can't do anything with it. You don't want to cut any of that. because no, then I'm just going to let it massage itself out, I think. That's what mine does. And that's why my tyres got big lines and shit all in it. So if everyone wondering, this doesn't have the front diff in it. Because um, it broke the pinion gear because someone didn't set the mesh right. And Mike just had this all fixed up for him. Which you can see, this guy actually set the line a little bit different on this one, if you can see it. He's actually drilled a hole in the bolt there. He's done a pretty good job. 
Like, there's no way that's going to run into that no. ring gear at all now. And then he's put a bit of corking up. Up here, he's just, um, if you can, he's plugged that side and then just moved the airline over the other side. And it's got all new seals in it. The mesh is actually right this time. Yep. And I know there was a few of... Oh. He does run the cast iron front end in that, out of the later GV model. Yeah, the grand power one. Yeah. And he has actually, if you could see then, these are actually aftermarket custom axles. I think they're Ranger axles with yeah. Vitara ends just put on. Yep. So something like for this car, he's just no way going to break them. And we we haven't even broken anything at all Not so yet. far. Not yet. Yeah, but now we got these. Now. But we don't thrash them in the bush, Not but like some. but we give them a bit of a hard time. So we're gonna go get some food, but we've got some 98 we're gonna put in the car. Because Mike's now got his uh, wideband sensor in. He's got boost gauge all set up in his car, so we can put some good fuel in, monitor the fuel. This is only still running four to five pounds of boost for the minute. He still hasn't got his ECU in, but now that he's got his wheels on, we're gonna just drive for that for the minute. <laughs> Get in that hole, gun. Oh, get it in the hole. In. Oh, yeah. We're in. Oh, it's not leaking now. Just getting that premium. The primo. 98 of us. That's going to be like 50 extra horsepower. There will be, these will be bald, mate. Just spinning. We're just burning rubber. 20 litres. Done and dusted. Mate, she's, she's going to be dosing hard now. Yeah, Driven it non turbo. Oh, I need to up the fuel pressure just to get a bit more, more in. Well, no. I'll give it a bit when we go into the street. This is rolling at the moment. But then again, you don't know how accurate the um, yeah, that gauge know. is. Yeah, she's low. It stinks. That's that. Oh, it's hot. I need a turbo blanket or something. Yeah, that's low. Look, we're on the low line. Have you had the brake lines off? Yeah, remember we did the bleed a couple, weeks, couple months ago? Oh. I haven't touched it since. Yeah. Oh, and Mike did get his aircon line fixed. Yeah. Which is all fixed. Yeah. Just need the lines for the... We've just got to fit up snorkel. his snorkel. And our oil line and that, still no leaks, which is good. Cool. So all we got to do now is just set the rear bump stops. We'll probably have to massage the guard here a little bit just so it doesn't hit but besides that it's pretty much ready to go full driving front diff yeah oh we got to put the front diff back in but front diff doesn't take long in one of these like it's a half hour job in this and um we'll be all good to go i should get my fuel pump back from the diesel injection mob next week and um we can get out so all right, thanks for watching.